Welcome to REIT Magazine's weekly report. I'm Matt Bichard. In our first story this week, Timber REIT Weyerhaeuser announced a flurry of recent moves. The company announced plans to acquire more than 645,000 acres of Pacific Northwest timberlands from Brookfield Asset Management through its Longview Timber Unit. The $2.65 billion deal will increase Weyerhaeuser's overall timberland holdings to about 6.6 million acres. The deal is expected to close in July. The company also announced plans to explore the divestiture of its home building unit. The company said its board will explore all alternatives, including retaining the unit, a possible merger, outright sale, or a spin-off. Lastly, Weyerhaeuser named Doyle Simons as its new president and CEO, effective August 1st, when Dan Fulton will retire from the position as planned. Fulton will remain with the company as executive vice chairman of the board until October. Timber industry veteran Simons was chairman and CEO of Temple Inland prior to its 2012 acquisition by International Paper. As a leading net lease investor with assets across the globe, WP Carey continues to make its mark on the real estate industry. This year marks the company's 40th anniversary. President and CEO Trevor Bond recently spoke with REIT.com about what has driven the company's long-term success. Well, I think that our longevity uh, stems from our ability to make money for our investors. Fundamentally, that's really what it's all about. Uh, as an investment manager, we've had 14 funds come full cycle since 1979 through a wide, wide range of cycles, as you know. And as a dividend paying company, we've increased our dividend over 48 plus consecutive quarters. So uh, I think that, that investment performance is ultimately what it's all about. Duke Realty Corporation is at the tail end of a major portfolio recomposition. Chairman and CEO Denny Oklak says the company wanted to divest itself of a large portion of its suburban office portfolio in order to concentrate on its industrial and medical office holdings. He recently sat down with REIT.com to talk about the company's development plans in these two areas. Well, we're really uh, being very aggressive, I would say, on uh, the pre-lease product today. And that's uh, the medical office business. A lot of that business is really the pre-lease to the major hospital systems, a lot of it on campus, uh, some of it off campus, but all affiliated with the hospital systems. On the industrial side today, uh, we're more focused on, again, on build a suits with our major customers on our land positions around the country. Uh, we've got a, a limited speculative development program on the industrial side, but we've really only started about three spec buildings uh, during this cycle. A REIT at the forefront of the sustainability movement is Kimco Realty Corporation. Last week, the retail REIT announced a pilot program at one of its malls to reduce energy usage in tenant-occupied spaces. Kimco is partnering with the Pacific Gas and Electric Company to identify ways to improve the efficiency of leased retail spaces. Will Teichman, Kimco's Director of Sustainability, said the company plans to spend the year conducting an in-depth analysis of energy usage at Westlake Shopping Center in Dale City, California, before expanding the program in 2014. Other goals of the initiative include helping to identify and eliminate barriers to investments in energy efficiency improvements by tenants. And that concludes this week's edition of Weekly Report. Be sure to visit REIT.com and realestateinvestmenttoday.com for additional industry news and analysis. Mm -hmm.